know that. Might it be possible for you to pretend that you haven't? And the Queen is here, Your Majesty. Could you be more specific? Ma'am? Which Queen? Queen Elizabeth, ma'am. Which one? There are two. The young one. Oh, the Queen. I thought you was all Queens. They gave me a sheet. We are. I was the Queen so long as my husband, the King, was alive. But since he died, I'm no longer the Queen. I'm simply Queen Mary. My late son's widow was also the Queen. But upon the death of her husband, she became Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother. Her daughter, Queen Elizabeth, is now Queen. So she is... The Queen. Bravo. Nurses and nuns have the same problem. We're all called sister. So you are. Well, she's outside. The Queen. Then let her in, sister. Bedtime. Not at all. How are you? I'm always happy to see you. And my mood will improve yet further if you promise me one thing. Name it. Not to ask me how I am. It's all anyone ever does. Forget death by lung disease. It's death by bad conversation. All right, I promise. But if you are feeling up to it, there was something I wanted to talk to you about. Fire away. I was listening to the wireless this morning, where they described this fog as an act of God. Now, in your letter that you sent me, you said, loyalty to the ideal you have inherited is your duty above everything else, because the calling comes from the highest source, from God himself. Yes. Do you really believe that? Monarchy is God's sacred mission to grace and dignify the earth, to give ordinary people an ideal to strive towards, an example of nobility and duty to raise them in their wretched lives. Monarchy is a calling from God. That is why you're crowned in an abbey, not a government building, why you're anointed, not appointed, it's an archbishop that puts the crown on your head, not a minister or public servant, which means that you are answerable to God in your duty, not the public. I'm not sure that my husband would agree with that. He would argue that in any equitable modern society that church and state should be separated, that if God has servants, they're priests, not kings. He would also say that he watched his own family destroyed because they were seen by the people to embody indefensible and unreasonable ideas. Yes, but he represents a royal family of carpetbaggers and parvenus that goes back, what, 90 years? What would he know of Alfred the Great, the Rod of Equity and Mercy, Edward the Confessor, William the Conqueror, Henry VIII? It's the Church of England, dear, not the Church of Denmark or Greece. Next question. <laughs> 